Dave Mazzani and uh, Ryan Dixon trade jabs there. And you'll see a, a feeling out period as the hands continue to fly. Dixon known more as a grappler and a nice kick there from Mazzani shows that he's known more as a striker. But both of these guys have very well-rounded games, fully three-phase fighters. They're good at striking, they're good at grappling, and they're good at submissions. Yeah, Mazzani has, uh, has certainly gotten the better of the striking, but as we saw in the C.J. Marsh fight, uh, striking isn't going to stop Ryan Dixon. Uh, he, he had his face pounded to hamburger and just kept coming forward to more. Well, you saw in the opening video, Dixon said he's bigger, he's stronger, and he's younger, and let's see if that will come into play here. Five five-minute rounds, and Dixon with the first takedown, and... Uh, could be a little bit of blood coming from the uh, nose of Mazzani, although that might just be from my vantage. Dropping elbows on the ears of Ryan Dixon. Dixon trying to protect that head and, and prevent those elbows from landing. But he's in a bit of a tough spot, Jeremy. He's got that one leg trapped of Mazzani and, uh, and trying, he's got it in a, a triangle uh, hold there. But uh, Mazzani gets out of that and Dixon continuing to drive up against the fence eating some punches, but progressing his game and uh, willing to pay the price to do so. Well, and again, if you're able to, if you're able to eat a few shots that aren't doing too much damage to you so that you can progress to a position in which you can do more damage than you're eating, then it's definitely worth it as a position. A uh, little bit of uh, gamesmanship there as Dave uh, Mazzani grabbed onto the, uh, the floor mat and the cage and was able to pull himself back to neutral. But in the corner of Ryan Dixon, Ryan Dixon hearing the advice from Jeff Jocelyn, his coach. So lots of good things being shown here by Ryan Dixon, despite the fact that he ate maybe 50 punches to be able to get in this position. Has him up against the cage now. Mazzani gets back up, lands another punch on the way out, and a second jab that comes through. And again, Mazzani definitely landing more strikes here in round number one, Jeremy. Ryan Dixon is just about out, but powers through it. Dave Mazzani on top, Ryan Dixon in trouble. Ryan Dixon went into a leg attack to try and get his wits about him. He ate some big shots. Again, Ryan Dixon has a very tough chin. He showed it in the CJ Marsh fight. He showed that he can recover from getting hit in the, in the Sean Fitzsimmons fight. But Dave Mazzani is a step above in competition from those two guys. And Dave Mazzani laying some big shots on Ryan Dixon. I don't think I've ever seen Ryan Dixon take this many big shots. Dixon, though, still intelligently defending. Jeremy still has his wits about him has seemed to have recovered from that punch, although Mazzani just laying damage from the top, relentless in this ground and pound here in round number one. And now the rear naked choke, but able to slip out is Ryan Dixon, and immediately to a leg attack, and uh, pushing up against the cage, a little bit of a danger position here as his head is in between the legs of Mazzani. Mazzani landing those big shots, targeting the liver to be able to try and slow down Ryan Dixon, who, again, despite taking some huge big shots, is moving forward. Forward. And again, a nice takedown from Dixon there, but with Zanny doing all kinds of damage with elbows and punches. Now Dixon lands a knee. That might be his first significant strike of the round, but goes down immediately looking for that leg attack, Jeremy. It's almost like he's fighting on instinct. Just takedown, 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 takedown. Has those hands locked around the back, so this is, again, a position where he's taking these big shots and Mazzani using the gravity against him, using those big shots, winding shots, because you can't avoid them when you're underneath like that. Ryan Dixon in trouble, but it seems that just as the referee's about to jump in, Dixon jumps out and starts protecting himself, starts defending, and is able to get through. It's one of those things of whether or not you're seeing your opponent punch himself out here, Jamie. This has been the longest first round of Ryan Dixon's life, and Dave Mazzani's got to be careful about where he's placing those elbows. Big breaths taken in by Mazzani, and Dixon, again, in this down position, has got a half guard kind of on the uh, left leg of Dave Mazzani, now switching to side control with 30 seconds remaining in round one. And I can guarantee you, this is the longest first round of Ryan Dixon's life. Ryan Dixon had to have eaten 60 or 70 punches by now, and Dave Mazzani shows no sign of slowing down. Dixon having to roll away from a standing guillotine attempt and now has the back. Does Dave Mazzani 10 seconds left in round one? Dixon flips out from underneath and get some hammer fists for his trouble. Ryan Dixon can take a punch, or a hundred. As 
they touch gloves, seeing that, uh, seeing that again, it, it, it's been a good fight so far. Ryan Dixon has to know that, has to know that Dave Mazzani is gonna be sensing blood. Dave Mazzani's really gonna jump on Dixon before he gets chest grip. Oh, a huge Dixon, shot by Ryan a Dixon. A huge shot. He's coming in, this fight is over. Ryan Dixon is your winner. I can't a huge it. blowout in round number one. Dave Mazzani gets He's knocked out. out.